October. Well, as for Saturday's game, there are still more than 5,000 tickets available. And that is forcing the NFL to extend the TV blackout extension until tomorrow. Jennifer Vogel joins us from the stadium in Glendale. Jen, why can't the Cards sell all the tickets? Well, the cards say that historically that wild card game is the toughest ticket to sell. But if they don't sell out, it's a blackout for TV. And that'll make for another Cardinals first. It'll be their first home game here at their new stadium at home without a sellout. We're just days away from Cardinals history, the first home playoff game in 61 years. But if tickets don't sell by Thursday, it's lights out for TV. Cardinals Mark Dalton says there are a few reasons why tickets might not be selling fast enough. The matchups aren't determined until the final week of the regular season. Traditionally, it comes right after a holiday week, um, so you have a shorter, or a shorter sales week. And then in our case, we got a Saturday game, so that's one fewer day to sell tickets. And in Phoenix, the Cardinals are competing for fans who are attending the Insight and Fiesta Bowls. We're going to get tickets and we're going to go. Cardinal fan Mike Gersh is visiting from Iowa. Warner played football in Cedar Falls, and yeah, we support them and the Cardinals, and people need to get out and get a ticket. You know, it's a could be once in a lifetime uh, opportunity. To but others aren't so confident. The economy sucks, and they probably think they're not going to win their last game, and so why go waste, just, you know what I mean? It'll be a waste of a game. But the Cardinals remain hopeful the game will sell out in time, and the whole Valley will get a chance to watch it. We think this is a good one. We think it's, uh, it's an historic event for us, and we think people are going to come out and fill the stadium.